everybody, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be so much fun because I'm finally here to talk about 88 Convertible. This video has been a long time coming. I've had these purses for a while and I feel really bad that I didn't get to talk about them right away. I ended up getting really busy this month and ended up having quite a few curveballs handed to me, which I'll kind of go over that in another video. Um, or you can follow me on social media. That will definitely give you a bigger chunk of little bits of my life story. There's a little bit more of a piece together puzzle than with, you know, video reviews. Um, so my handle is Grace Pamela M U A um, on Instagram. You don't have to follow me there. I'm just putting that out there because I don't always have time to replenish this, but I'm on Instagram every day. Uh, too old for Snapchat too young for life alert love Instagram so the very first thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about is of course convertible 88 and it is a vegan leather handbag brand now the reason I love this brand it is put together by a very diverse group of women which I already love that already off the bat there but they're also very passionate about the environment which if you follow me on other forms of social media, you know I am. I've also been a vegan here on YouTube since 2011, had a YouTube channel since 2010. So a lot of you guys already know that a lot of veganism stems through passion um, for the environment and for passion for animals. Um, and so veganism would just be the tier top level of vegetarianism. 100% vegetarian meaning that you care about the environment, you care about the animals and you don't, you don't harm either one of those things. And so basically this particular brag, uh, bag, brag, brand, I was trying to, my brain is thinking too quickly these days and I put bag and brand the same word. What does 88 mean? Why choose this number? It actually mean, means a bunch of things and I have it right here in front of me what it means. And there's, there's quite a few things that I knew I wasn't going to be able to remember because my head is so full of the thing I'm currently studying. So basically, the symbolic meaning of the brand 88. So one, the number 88 is the number of constellations in the sky. The shuttle mission 88 started construction of the International Space Station finished in 1988. 88 is considered the luckiest number in Chinese culture as it sounds like the word for wealth. And um, in ham radio 88 is the sign off that means love and kisses. The snake swallowing its own tail. It's an ancient Egyptian symbol for the self-sustaining, self-contained universe. 88 represents the cycle of creation and recreation. So basically that's what 88 means. So it basically symbolizes what I feel like a lot of vegans want to, um, a lot of modern and vegans and hipsters want to sort of embrace. It's a sort of all-encompassing, um, you know, love and give back, which is basically the modern hipster hippie movement. That's the word hipster, I guess. So basically, Vegan 88. Vegan 88 is PETA approved. No animal products used ever. The founder of 88 is a lifelong vegetarian and believes that the environment would benefit from the reduction of factory farming. And I absolutely agree. If any of you guys have ever seen Earthlings, I think it is a PETA approved movie. Just adds a heads up. Um, as a heads up because uh, I'm saying that as a heads up because a lot of sort of the the narrative in that video stems from the PETA website. Uh, some of you guys know how I feel about Ingrid Newkirk, some of you guys do not. Um, nonetheless, um, I tend to more or less agree with as far as, you know, the verbiage of the ASPCA or Leaving Bunny, not so much, you know, I'm not so much an Ingrid Newkirk fan. But I love that these bags do um, are, have no animal products and the founder is a lifelong vegetarian and she believes in what I believe in. Um, once again, vegetarianism, if you watch Earthlings, it's not about not eating meat per se, although that's kind of the, the point that they want to bring you to. But, so, but they do show a scene where basically this average farmer you know, is working on his farm, no, no actual corruption. You know, he's not slaughtering meat that could be thrown away. He's not slaughtering an excessive amount of meat. He's not harming the animals in a brutal manner um, during the duration of their life. Um, he's not slaughtering them in a brutal manner at the end of their life. And um, the meat is cleaner, blah, 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 blah. So factory farming is basically what vegans are against. So if you're eating a hamburger right now, I hope I wasn't too graphic. But it's not so much the hamburger, it's how you get it. So... 
Basically, A8 is passionate about creating luxury products without having to break the bank. How do we do both? We manufacture and sell directly to the consumer, no boutique or department store markups. The cost of saving is extended to you. Who doesn't love that? And I don't work with Convertible 88. I'm talking their narrative. Which if you know all about factories in general, not just leather factories, but you want to kind of stay away from um, sweatshop factories which also pollute the environment. So life sustaining. Um, our process A develops our own custom hardware, keeping in mind what is best suited for the environment. The quality is equal to that of handbags and double one of the cost of yours. Assuming you were talking about a Michael Kors when they say the cost of yours. If you are hesitant, get our bag and see. If not, return it free of charge. Pretty amazing point. So all of their suppliers are certified compliant for human rights and good working conditions. So a lot of people will do have a beef with veganism and they say, well, what about humans? If you can't be kind to your fellow humans, what means, what makes it, you know, okay just to be kind to one sort of living creature on the planet? Well, vegan rights is human rights. That's kind of my, like, little philosophy. It may not be every vegan's philosophy, but it definitely is mine in terms of the environment. That's human rights. I don't care, you know, which way somebody votes, which way somebody feels about something. I don't think you can argue with somebody who has their heart and soul in the right place, so to speak. I feel like that's why, um, that's why a lot of vegans are pretty <laughs> decent debaters. They feel very strongly, and, and you have to. You have to have courage and conviction and compassion and passion when you're talking about something you believe in. Now, we are proud of our relationships with our suppliers, most of whom have worked with us for four years and whom are considered part of family. Now, not every employer considers you a part of their family. The majority of them do not. They consider you disposable. So that's really awesome that this brand really considers you a piece of their family. 88 donates a percentage of every sale to CARE, a charity that assists in educating women around the world. We believe that educating women is the key to a better world. And I think educating people in general is a key to the better world. Um, not trying to get all liberal or, you know, gender sharing and caring here, but education for everyone is important. We would encourage you to donate your want unwanted handbags to Dress for Success, another charity that empowers women to achieve economic independence. And I respectfully agree. Now, Dress for Success is a brand that you know, they care about just about everybody regardless of your background, and I love that about them because everybody deserves a second chance. I think everybody deserves, um, not even just this whole second chance part, because some characteristics don't change, but I think people should be given a chance. Alright, so as far as the Convertible 88 handbag is concerned, we have a Spectacular You'll, this is on the main page of the website right now, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue handbag with gold leafy detailing. So this is what they meant when they were talking about textures. And it also has gorgeous gold hardware. Now the lovely, fabulous idea of this handbag is that it comes with two flaps. So you'll get a solid one and you'll get one of these. Currently I have on the pretty little leafy one, and I love this because it it's kind of like a pretty decent sized bucket in there when you open it up. You know, it's it definitely, it's not like a loose kind of crummy leather handbag. It's, it's sturdy. It's created very nicely. And of course you can make it, some people would consider this evening. I know in older, gener older generations, I do wait on a lot of senior clients, would consider this very flashy and then I do have some devil may care senior clients that are like I'm just gonna wear this and have fun and not care what anybody else thinks and I'm a little dressier a little more rebellious and I feel like I'm gonna wear this and I don't care what anybody thinks but I love the dressy flap and here's the buttons where you can undo that and then just wear put it on the solid if you want but like I said as a makeup artist even now that I'm studying like becoming a life agent I feel like you should always be yourself and represent clients, you know, especially that are like you, make them feel comfortable. I'm flashy, my clients might be flashy, and this is not that flashy a bag, guys. But the next one is actually my personal favorite, and the convertibleness on here would be the strap. And But my favorite thing about it is it's sort of a demure, very sweet confection, almost like a macaroon 
and Tiffany Mint Had a Baby. Yes, I love it. So you can snap this right here and make it into a longer strap. So I've turned it more into like a day bag. And then you have the pretty convertible 88 logo right here. Convertible 88 logo right here. And I love the way that they sort of interlocked it and made it a little bit more couture. And then this fun flashy piece right here, you can take that off. The strap will be shorter. I do like the length that this gives because I have long arms. But I also love the additional bedazzling that gives. So you can bedazzle, but it doesn't look like a bedazzler. Does anybody remember the bedazzlers? They were like really... Mm, some people were great at it, some people were not at it. It was great for personalization. I feel like some people turned it into like a ridiculous craft. But I feel like, you know, this is very, this is very fun. I feel like these are kind of classic styling ideas. Uh, they're not, you know, too over the top, not too metallic. And then I have the little wristlet and handle that I shoved away in there if you want to wear it as an evening bag. But when I, if I were to go out with my friends and have like a drink in the evening or see a movie, that used to be my favorite thing, get a drink and then go see a movie. And then, you know, you want it to be sturdy and long enough that you can drape it over your arm so that you can forget it's there and nobody can steal your goodies. So I'm not the biggest fan of that wristlet, but you know, to each their very own. Depends on where you live. I live in California. It's a little bit more of a high crime area, so I'm more all about the crossbody. And then in here is a bucket. So once again, you can securely put your things in there and then you don't see the impression marks of your keys and whatever else is inside there. So a whole lot of goodie and fun. I will put the style numbers of these two bags that I showed you in the bottom bar. And just as a heads up, these bags were gifted to me and it took me a very long time to get to them. Too long and I do apologize. But when I receive things, I really hate to put up a review when I'm running out of time and I work a lot of jobs and I feel like I've been running out of time. But the bottom line is, is that I'd rather review it for you right and actually use the product. Yeah. Um, and I absolutely love these purses. I don't know if you can see that they have been used. They have been definitely used. But I feel like, you know, you should use products if you're going to play play with them on YouTube. But yeah, thanks so much for watching my video. Review. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.